There's been a fair few dumb ideas in 2022. In fact, automakers have come up with some wacky stuff to put in their electric cars to try and make them sound amazing. I mean, one of the biggest mistakes in my view is automakers not moving away fast enough or at all from lithium nickel based ternary batteries to the new battery pack, the new battery chemistry that they should be using. Why? Because it would save them massive amounts of money and make their EVs cheaper for everyone, make their EVs actually better for everyone. But aside from that, there was a couple of automakers that came up with the wackiest, most mentally insane idea in the history of the automobile, or at least in the history of the electric automobile. This is what it was. This is my 2022 award winner for the most retarded innovation in the world of EVs. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. I've just returned from Newcastle with my boys. We went on a bit of a BMX road trip when we came back. We went to a bunch of BMX tracks and pump tracks on the way back. And you know what? If you ever hear in Australia, New South Wales have some amazing pump tracks. If your kids love that, check them out. It was, it was awesome. It was a great trip. Now, I just want to say a big thank you to those of you who have contacted me, sent me messages, emails, support, etc., around um, the recent cancer diagnosis that I talked about on the channel here. Um, it is something I, I want to do everything I can, help that to have the best possible outcome. And it has taken a lot of my emotional and physical time and energy. Thus, the videos on the channel have probably suffered in terms of the outcome and in terms of the quantity recently. But I need, it, I need to invest that time. And I just want to say thank you guys for contacting me, helping me, sending me links, sending me videos, sending me information. Some of you doctors, you've got family members who are doctors, you've done research yourselves. And I have read every single one of your messages. I haven't responded to all of them yet. I've responded to most of them. But please keep sending it. Please, I need your help. I really appreciate it. I know, you know, I can't say any more other than thank you so much for supporting me in this period of time. As well as that, thank you guys for supporting by subscribing to the channel. It makes a huge difference. Now, the most moronic invention in 2022. And when I say moronic, the fact is, it's not just moronic because of the product that it is, but it's moronic because of the fact that it's a fake product. Seriously, it's not even real. It's pretend. Toyota invented a manual transmission, which is not even a manual transmission. Now, the thing is, right, I used to love manual transmissions. I bought manual cars because I loved the purest idea of being able to shift the gears myself. Now, sorry to you, you guys in the US, you guys call it stick, stick shift, right? Stick shift, yeah, I think that's what you call it. Now, that's what I'm referring to, the stick shift. Toyota invented a stick shift that actually doesn't do anything. It just pretends for you. It's like a little game. It pretends that it's revving the car, but it actually does nothing. Now, the crazy thing is, they said they're going to put it in their new electric LFA supercar, the Lexus LFA. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't, I don't, can't imagine too many people who want to buy a supercar with a gimmick fake manual transmission. It doesn't sound all that enticing, I think, to someone in that price range, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Now, Toyota's new patent is focused on giving drivers engagement. That's what they say. Now, while there's no doubt that the manual transmission is the choice of transmission for purists, the truth is there's not many purists around. I mean, stick shifts, manual transmissions, they represent about 2% of sales in the US and Australia. Uh, the popularity of those types of transmissions are declining every single year. I think we all know that, right? Now, the thing is, right, the popularity of those transmissions, some people still want one in performance cars, is due to the way that they feel, the way they shift. But that's because they're actually doing something. When you change gears, right, with your stick shift, with your manual transmission, something happens. The revs go up, the revs go down. You feel it. You go backwards, you go forwards. But with this transmission, they, the idea is to play you a sound, to play you a sound, to make it sound like something's happening. You know what? This, in my opinion, is mental. It does nothing. It just plays you a sound. And you can actually move it. But moving it is just like, it's like a toy. It's like, you know, Christmas, you get your kid a little toy pretend car or a car, a little car you can drive around in. 
It's got a fake transmission. It's like that. That's what it reminds me of. Now you might be wondering, maybe this is uh, something Toyota just plans on selling in just Japan, you know, where people uh, still love these kinds of pretend transmissions. No, I'm kidding. I mean, people in Japan clearly love their hot hatches and their real manual transmissions. I don't think they love EVs or fake manual transmissions at all, considering their sales. But the thing is, Toyota actually filed a patent in the United States. It was filed in June last year and published a few months ago. And it pertains to an invention for an electric vehicle with a manual transmission. Now, as we know, transmissions of any sort are rare in EVs. The Porsche Taycan is one of the very few that have a transmission. It has a two-speed gearbox. Personally, I don't recommend you buy an EV with a gearbox. In fact, one of the best things about an EV is the fact that you don't have to have that part. It's something else to break. It's something else to look after. It's something else where you have to train to change the transmission fluid. Eventually buy a new transmission. That's what happens. Eventually in most cars, you gotta buy a new transmission. The best part is no part. As Elon Musk says, I agree with that. And I think one of the best benefits of an EV is you don't get that, uh, 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 that feeling of an automatic transmission that even slows the gears, where you still feel the gears changing. Now, in my old BMW, it had a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. I can still tell you, driving an EV is so much nicer, so much smoother, because it doesn't have a transmission. You don't need it. You really don't need it, especially when you have a regen braking, which you can basically use to decelerate, much the same way you'd use a manual transmission to decelerate. Now, the transmission in the Porsche Taycan is not a gearbox you can actually shift yourself. The gearbox is used to dole out specific torque levels to help make acceleration smooth, and an EV uses coding to achieve the same thing. So what's going on here? Is this a manual with no clutch? And if so, how could that work in an EV? It turns out, actually, there's no gearbox at all, and there's not even a clutch. Seriously. Manual transmission with no gearbox and no clutch. Now, if you don't agree with me that this is the stupidest invention of 2022, then frankly, you must know something I don't. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think is the winner for 2022. Now simply put, Toyota's invention proposes simulating the feel of a gearbox through software. And the only reason that Toyota lists for such an endeavor is their claims that it will increase driving pleasure. I find that dubious. The idea is that the software can simulate the feel of gradual acceler acceleration increases per gear, as well as clutch engagement and the throw of a shift lever. Thus, a future electric Toyota GR Supra could be equipped with both a clutch pedal and a gear stick, but instead of a mechanical connection, these would be tethered to sensors that could tell the car how to behave. In other words, it would be fake. It wouldn't be real. It would just be simulated. Now, of course, manuals can be a bit of a hassle to drive in traffic. So Toyota is suggesting that it will have a button so you can switch from EV mode to manual pretend mode, kind of like a kid with a, you know, a toy. Now, the reality is this invention could never possibly fight, provide the same feel back of a real manual transmission or a real clutch. But, you know, at least you're not going to be stalling it anytime soon, I think. Now, let me know your thoughts. Personally, I think this is a joke. Toyota literally wasted more than $50 million inventing a product that I don't think anyone actually wants. Thanks for watching, my friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.